and Electronics Engineering, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology, welcoming you all to the Microcontroller Lab programs. The subject code for 2018 scheme is 18EEL57 and for 2017 scheme it is 18E17EEL57. Today I am going to teach you the assembly language program, how to write an assembly language program for doing a quick division. Here I am taking a 16 bit number and dividing the 16 bit number with an 8 bit number. The 16 bit number is stored in register R1 and R2. We are storing the divisor in register R3 and we are storing the quotient in register R7. Here we are going to see how we are going to observe the output. So let us start with the program. So the software which we are using here is Keel Microvision software. You double click on Keel Microvision software icon. You get a menu bar. In the menu bar, there are many options. You choose the fourth option that is the project tab. We click on the project tab. Under project tab, we click on new microvision project. Here, I write in the file name as division and I click on save. It asks me to choose the device and the vendor. Here the vendor we are choosing is the microchip and the device we are choosing is AT89C51ED2. So we choose the device which is compatible with Keel Microvision software for executing 8051 programs. We click on OK and we click on No. So this creates a target in the project window which you can see on the left hand of the screen. Now the editor window is disabled. We enable the editor window by going to the menu bar. In the menu bar we click the first option that is File. In the file, we click new. The editor window gets enabled. Here we type the program. This is the program which we have typed. So after typing the program, we have to save the program as dot extension. That is extension file is dot asm. So again, I go to the menu bar. The first option is file. I click on file. I go to the fifth option save as here it asks me to type the file name so i type the file name as division.asm because we are performing division operation and i click on save so this saves in the keel microvision format so org is the opcode which is uh, indicated in blue color the data is indicated in red color. The registers and labels are indicated in green in color. So let us get back to the program. In the program, the left side of the window, you have project window. To set the crystal frequency, I right click in the project window, the target one. I right click on target one. I get the first option, options for target. So under options for target, under crystal frequency, the, by default, it would be set as 33.0. I enter the number as 11.0591, which is the crystal frequency which we are setting to execute the microcontroller lab program. In the same window, we have the third tab, which indicates to create an hex file. The third tab is output tab. There, by default, create hex file is not set. You have to check the create hex file window and click on OK. Now I have to link this file to the new project. So I expand under in the project window under target one. I expand the file. I get source group one. I right click on source group one. I get 
add existing file to the group. I click on add existing files to the group. I select division.asm file and I click on add once and I close. So my file is linked to the project. Now I check whether there are any errors. So compilation is done in three steps. The first step is to translate. So I click on the translate icon which is there on the left hand of the screen. You can find the translate. So I click on the translate. It checks whether there are any errors. If there are any errors, it indicates in the build output. If there are no errors, it shows as zero errors and zero warnings. It indicates which line there is an error if there is an error. But since there is no error in the program, it is indicating as zero errors and zero warnings. Now I have to link the hex file to the given project. So I click on build. This links the given project to the file. Next, I complete the process by clicking rebuild. The rebuild is going to be clicked, so which completes the process. Now, I go to debug window. Here, I go to start stop debug session. The output is checked in the project window here. Initially, R0 to R7 registers are considered to be zero. Accumulator data is also zero. B is also taken as 0, stack pointer is indicating 0, 07 and program counter is right now indicating 0, data pointer is indicating 0. All these things are initially in the default state. I proceed with the program by pressing F11 or there is a step icon in the third row in the menu bar. I click the third icon here. The first instruction is move R1, comma, hash 67H. 67FD is the given 16-bit number which we are dividing with EE. So 67 is taken in register R1, FD is taken in register R2, EE is the divisor which is taken in register R3, that is EE, and initially the div the quotient is taken as 0. The number of times you are going to divide the number is what we are going to consider. So R7 is taken as 0. Before we perform subtraction, the carry flag should be maintained 0. So I maintain the carry flag 0. The first number 67FD, the number FD is going to be passed to the accumulator because I have to subtract that number FD with the divisor EE. So the first number is taken into accumulator. So FD is taken to accumulator. FD is subtracted with the divisor. The divisor is EE. When I subtract FD with EE, we get 0F where it shows that there is no carry. Next, it is the Next number is taken, that is 67 is taken. So 0F is put in register R2. The next number is 67, which is taken to the accumulator. 67 is subtracted with 0 to get into the next column. Next, we are going to move the data that is 67 into register R1. Now, if there is a carry, it comes to the loop that is remainder loop. If there is no carry, it keeps incrementing to the next digit. So it goes to the column where it has to store the result. So this procedure of subtracting and moving the number to R1 and R2 happens n number of times. How do you observe the result here? The result is observed with the help of the run button. I press F5 which says what is the result. After pressing F5, I click on into which says that this is the answer. So R7 is showing the quotient. 6F is the quotient. When I subtract or when I divide 
67 fd with ee the quotient is 6s so this is how we divide a 16 bit number with a 8 bit number thank you for watching this video